So like, dude, we just got all of our neck gaiters in and these things are freaking sick. So they're completely breathable because everybody knows that right now all this crap going on, a paper mask isn't gonna help you anyways and they're not breathable, they suck, they're worthless. You might as well get something that's first off, not so janky looking strapped to your ears and stuff because if it's not gonna help you anyways because COVID's actually a scheme, you can actually just wear something like this. And let me show you how good it is. These are actually completely breathable. Let me hold it up to the sunlight. Oops, right there. You can see through it, they're breathable, but it passes all of the technical requirements when you go into stores because they don't actually care about your safety or your health. It's all just a hoax. It's really just about you complying and doing what the government is trying to force you to do. So in that regard, you might as well have something you can at least breathe through so you're not killing yourself while wearing a mask. And also they're good for outdoors, hunting, fishing, keeping mosquitoes off you, uh, sunburn off your neck when you're out on the water, stuff like that. So if you want one, go grab one. I'm also gonna be wearing one of my red and gray flex fit caps because you know what? I just want to. The flex fits are one of my favorites. Hopefully there's some left by the time you see this video. I know that when I filmed my last video and I said hats were back in stock, the hats like freaking what flying. Literally these are all hats, all these boxes, this tall, this wide, those are all hats. And the flex fits, as you can see, they are dwindling down. There's only a few left, they're the gray ones in the back corner. And then those are gonna be gone too. But here are the neck gaiters. Like I said, we had a bunch of those in stock when we originally launched the store, the new site. And most of them sold out already. There are still, I wanna say there's about 50 of them left, but those 50 will go quick as well. Just to clear that up, if you see it available on the store for sale, that means that it will be here and it will ship out fast. Today is your last day. It ends tonight. Every order over $25 gets $5 cash minimum. We've got a few thousand bucks here. We've got to get rid of all of it. So if you want to win some cash, every order over $25 gets cash, all random amounts, but $5 minimum. So if you want some free cash and you want to get a product and you want to get entered to win a truck plus another $5,000 cash, I would say you should probably get entered. Link's in the description below if you want to enter to win the OBS Power Stroke. <laughs> Check this out. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, I hope this trunk closes. <laughs> Look how many boxes there are in the Escalade. Oh my gosh. Who thinks we need to have like a mean merch van build? Like an LBZ Duramax Savannah van? I think it'd be pretty epic. So we're actually gonna be on our way to, well, clearly we're gonna go to the post office. Those are mostly hats. We sell a lot of hats, but we do also have a bunch of t-shirts and decals and koozies and stuff going out to you guys. And now that the neck gaiters are in, the neck gaiters are gonna be flying out the door right now as well. I actually just ran into Menards to grab some more shelving. As you can see, we bought all of their shelving again. Literally, they just restocked it this morning from when we bought it all out the last time. And I went back there and I was like, and we're gonna take it all again. So we have actually got a bunch of parts showing up for the first gen, apparently. I'm not sure if it's all of the parts or not, but I did just get a call and they said that we're about 30 minutes away and we have some parts from LMC Truck. There's only one truck I ordered parts for from LMC Truck and that was for the first gen. So I'm excited to see if all of the parts are showing up because um, I'm excited to get the resto gen done. I mean, the resto gen has been kind of like on hold for the last few weeks because we've been waiting on stuff. And I hope people understand that like, I know there's gonna be people that are like, oh, I've ordered from so-and-so and my stuff came in the next day. And, and there were even been people that have ordered merch from us in the last week and they got it in like two days. But there's also people that ordered merch from us a week ago and their stuff just shipped out today. So, I mean, it's not all like next day, but it, it really is so much faster than it used to be. But like even with ordering my stuff from LMC, they've been around forever. They're a big company, but it still has taken me at least three weeks, minimum three weeks to get my stuff from them. And they've been in business for a long time. So they're not like new to the whole shipping thing. Like it's just the way things are going. Sometimes stuff just takes longer than expected right now just because of all the scam tactics on the media and, and the government. All that being said, we are almost back to the house here. We're gonna see what parts showed up for the first gen. Quite a bit of stuff. I mean, I think we've got most of the first gen parts. So we're gonna take this thing over to the barn and unload it and unbox it and see what all we got. Looks like Jenga blocks back there. So a little bit nervous. Well, let's see what all we've got here it looks like we've got a lot of the stuff that i need to get going on this like a windshield so i can get a windshield on so i can freaking spray the truck down and seats so they've got and they wrote my name on 
loud and proud. So we're gonna open up one of the seats here. I wanna show you what the seats look like. Kinda of curious how they fit in that box. So let's, let's find out. I really hope they're what I was looking for because they're packaged kind of funny. These are sick. I don't think I ever told you guys exactly what I ended up going with, but um, these are pretty awesome. These are, these are really nice. I'm pretty excited about this. These are the seats that we went with. Fully reclined right now. I was wondering how they fit in there. I'm like, oh my goodness. They're fully reclined and they don't have the mounting hardware on them yet. But as you can see the bolts here, I bought mounting hardware, so all I have to do is basically bolt it through the factory holes in the truck's flooring for this truck, an extended cab W250, and the brackets are supposed to mount up flawlessly, but look at the detail on this. These were actually an LMC truck, like special seat specific from them. The quality just looks really good. Maybe somebody else has already bought these and they know otherwise, but from the feel and the look of them though, they look super nice and plush and super like just durable. I mean, they just look good, you know? They look really, really high quality. And these seats ran me, I think it was a thousand bucks per seat. So just for this one was a grand, the other one was a grand, and that was with, I think that's like the price after I added on the mounting hardware. I'm gonna see what's in that box just to be sure make sure I'm not like expecting more stuff, but they look freaking good. So I'm gonna have to wrap this back up though and put the top back on just because you can see the dust in this barn from that fan running all the time. It just creates a dust storm in here. So um, yeah, yeah. So super excited. That's just, that's awesome. So that's gonna be the seat setup going in this truck. There's no headrests on it. I just kind of thought, what the heck? I know that I said that I, maybe I'll do fourth gen, maybe I'll do third gen seats. Nobody could really make up their mind. And the people that did make up their mind, there were too many people that had different opinions. So I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm just gonna choose what I think everybody's gonna like seeing in the truck and just go with that route because in the, at the end of the day, it's a truck that I'm gonna be driving. So I wanna make sure that like, you know, I like it. And I think it's gonna look really good. I mean, we'll see. Let's open up the rest and see what else we got. This feels more like carpet. This is probably the carpet for the truck, honestly. I would love to get seats in this truck so I can drive it to the freaking car wash and get it clean. Man, this thing is so filthy, but our water here, guys, is so bad. And without a windshield, I would have to like take a bucket of soapy water and like go over it super carefully so I don't dump a bunch of water behind the new dash. And one thing that makes me a little bit nervous, they shipped me two boxes that look identical in size and they both say glass. Thinking that maybe I accidentally ordered two first gen windshields. This is exactly what I thought it was based on the how heavy it was. Carpet and insulation for the floor, the first gen, which is good. I need that stuff too. I don't even think I have to open these boxes. I'm pretty sure I accidentally ordered two windshields. If I did, then I might have a first gen windshield for sale, 200 bucks, brand new. Guys, that's pretty much all the parts because I'm assuming that those are both the windshields because they're both super lightweight and they both say glass, fragile, the exact same box, exact same size, everything, same weight. And every I mean, it's gotta be the same, same product. And then these two are the seats, if you can see those, but I don't have mounting hardware, so I can't clean the interior and put them in the truck today just because I don't, I don't have any hardware to put them on. Hopefully the hardware comes soon. I do have the carpet though, so my hopes are that very, very soon here I can start to get this truck done because I want to make this thing drivable. I want it to be a daily drivable truck. So I'm going to get the interior done and then want to take it in to have the drivetrain looked at because I still haven't experienced it myself, but the guy I bought it from said that the drive shaft vibrates a little bit once you go over like 50 miles an hour. The most I've ever had it is about 45, driving it back from the pump shop to have the fuel pump rebuilt. And so I don't know, I never felt it, but I just wanna have it trailered over just to be sure, just to check it out, just to be safe. That way I'm not like hooking up my 20 foot car hauler to it and then like having a drive shaft vibration and it's just not good, not healthy and something bad happens. That's where we're at right now with the Foresto Gen because a lot of people were asking, you know, I haven't seen the Resto Gen, what's going on? You haven't been doing anything if, with it, all this other stuff. To be honest with you, I wanted to do more stuff to it, but I'm waiting on the parts. And now that I have some of the parts, but I only have half of the parts. And I'm supposed to get like a weather stripping kit as well that I still haven't gotten to fully weather seal the whole cab again for the doors, the windshield, all that stuff because I need that stuff to even put the windshield in. Got some things we gotta do. We gotta go hang out with some family that's coming in from out of town within the next like two hours. So I'm gonna get this video edited and up for you guys real quick. I have to run by the bank and grab the cash because guess what? Tomorrow we should be picking up the whistle and diesel 
truck. I'm not gonna say which one, but we're picking up one of the two trucks, and then the following weekend, we're gonna pick up the other one. I think I might drive it back, might trailer it, might drive it, I don't know. It just kinda depends, because this is the only truck I have to haul with right now, and it's an hour and a half. I just don't know how comfortable that's gonna be for an hour and a half hauling a heavy load behind it. Just me and Reagan in the truck. So I may or may not just drive it back. You guys stay tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget that if you want to enter to win this truck, every $1 is five entries to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. And not only that, but every order over $25 gets random cash, $5 minimum. This is your last day tonight at midnight. 5X entries end and they don't come back. And the $5 minimum guarantee for orders over $25 or more, that deal ends tonight at midnight as well. Even if you spend the bare minimum 25 bucks which you can like this net gator if you get five bucks back that's the worst that can happen that's like 25 percent off i will catch you guys in the next video peace